Let's turn our attention to our meteorologist Rob Maeda as we inch inch toward the weekend, Rob. That's right, and we're seeing some cooler changes right now, which is a welcome sight. And considering the uh, climate perspective, you saw the story there on the oceans. One of the things we've been seeing with our climate as it's shifted warmer is the impact it's had on fire seasons. In fact, just within the last couple of days, uh, hillside dry conditions are as dry as they typically are in June and July. So it's good news that we're getting the cooler temperatures now and the higher humidity as at sea breeze. Picks up the statistics since 2000 in terms of fire danger is pretty impressive. When you look at the top 20 largest fires in the state, 85% have occurred just since 2000. And on top of that, two of the top fire seasons in terms of acres of burned have occurred in the last three years. Similar to the conditions we're seeing now, an early start to fire scene, fire season, a longer fire season, and fires that are burning more intense. So. How does this factor into what we're likely to see to start off this year? Well, the drought monitor is a good indication of just how dry conditions are. And the state of it right now, especially for the North Bay, is actually even drier at the same time last year. So we need rain. Unfortunately, we're not seeing that in the forecast, but maybe a runner up to that would be a supersized marine layer and cooler than average temperatures and cool ocean temperatures right now. So these factors are at least helping us out short term. Low 50s for ocean temperatures, strong sea breeze keeping those temperatures below average. And with the ocean air conditioning, the humidity levels have started to come up over the last couple of days.